Birdman, and today we are talking about compositing. So today's video is going to be a bit short and a bit easy, but I just want to introduce you to the match resize node because it is a node that I use a lot, but I haven't really made a video dedicated to it, and I thought I would today. So the match resize is a filter node, so that's why it's dark blue. Um, you, it needs to be connected to something to exist. Like if you just take your match resize and you connect it to a composite, eh, nothing happens. But the match resize is a node that is very easy to use. Um, if you go to the little yellow box here to get its properties, it's got one properties. It's radius. So what the mat resize will do is it will <laughs> resize your mat. And by mat, I mean anything that you connect to it. So to show you this, I'm going to use my animation here. And I'm going to give the color art filter here so that we just see the color art. It's going to make it easier to see our mat resize. And I'm not the only one, but I love looking at my animation without the line art sometimes. It's just so cool. I know I have a very graphic style, so it doesn't work with every style. I need a very clean line art for it. But when you do have a clean line art for it, so cool to see your animation just like that without line art. I don't know. Anyway, back to our match resize video. Uh, match resize, you see I have my color art here. And if I get my match resize, I can connect it to my color art like this. And if I go in its settings and I input like 10, for example, it's going to make my color art bigger by 10 units. Like that. So it's going to expand the color. And just to show you um, the difference between the original and the new one, I will just give it two connections. So the original connection and the matte resized connection. And for the matte resized, I'm going to give it a transparency node just so that we can see the difference. So here is the original and the fade out version is the matte resize, what it did. Of course, you need to be in render view to see the matte resize. If you are in OpenGL, you're not going to see it. It's a node that requires rendering. So the matte resize is really cool, but sometimes if you use it with complex colors, it's going to kind of <laughs> like stretch them. So it's not always what you want, but that's what it does. So it's going to either expand or it can also shrink your mat. So I'm going to get here and instead of putting in 10, I'm going to put minus 10. And you're going to see it's going to eat away my drawing. There you go. So it ate away my drawing. Of course, it's not really used on characters like that, but I did use it a lot in effects. So I'm going to show you that in a moment. I'm going to put it back to zero and I'm just going to show you one of the main use of a match resize. So when I was first introduced to it in the industry, uh, people were using it to create fake, thick line art around their art. So to do that, they would, you know, um, get the original art and have it connected to the composite. And then the match resize, they would connect it under it and they would give it like a wide radius. I'm going to go with five. But then instead of using the original color, what they did is they used it with a matte blur. So the matte blur and the matte resize, they very often go hand in hand. Um, I often use it to put a little rim around my art to do emotes on Discord. Um, I use it all the time in my Game Grumps animation to give them a cool fake line. And then with the matte blur, you can use any color you want to use it as the line art. So if I get a dark blue here, that'll be um, my line art. And now I'm using it with my color art, but of course you would use it with just your uh, your art and it would also work. And it's going to stretch the texture of your line as well. And of course, if you want to do a bit like what I do for my Game Grumps animation in my other tutorial that you can check out in the description here, um, you can also put multiple match resize to have maybe a line that is even thicker around it. And I'm going to give another color to this second one. You know, you could, you could maybe do that. It really depends on what you guys want. And it's a pretty cool node. So yeah, match resize is very often used with the matte blur. Of course, your match resize has this little logo. So it means that you can animate it. So if you go in your timeline and you find any match resize node and you click on the little plus sign here, you're going to see you can animate the radius. So maybe you had a camera move or maybe you want to do something that kind of wiggles, like a, like a firelight that wiggles. You can animate the match resize resizing <laughs> in your timeline. Super easy. Just put keyframes and you have fun. So now to finish this video, I'm just going to show you some common examples of how you use a match resize. So like I said, you can use it to create a fake line art. You can also use it to expand any colors. So if you've watched my tutorials on the watercolor style uh, coloring, I did use the match resize to expand my color art in order to color my line art. Um, and you can also use it to do effects. So I'm going to take that little color here and I'll give it a more fiery color. Let's go with like a bright yellow. There we go. That's my fire. And then if I want to give it like a blur around it, um, oftentimes we would take maybe like a glow to do something very quick, very cheap. And I would take the radius and I would expand it so that it glows around. But then if I want my glow to be much, much bigger, eh, a big reflex would be to put like 50. It gives a very nice, smooth glow but it's also very heavy like blurring something with 50 radius 
is expensive. So one cheap way to do it is to keep it at 10, but instead we're gonna take our, our drawing and between the drawing and the glow, I will give it a mat resize. And I'm gonna pump up the size of the glow with the mat resize. And you can get a very, very clear um, expansion of your glow. It's gonna be less smooth than if you use the 50, oops, the 50, 50, damn it, 50 radius. But um, you can use something less, like maybe 30. And with the mat resize, you're not gonna see much of a difference and you're like lowering your blur by 20. So, you know, if you can use the mat resize to expand any art before you blur it, it is a big plus, not gonna lie. It's very, very uh, efficient to do that. Um, yeah, so there's many ways to use a mat resize and I just thought I would um, introduce you to it. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a wonderful week. Bye-bye.